Today we got the Shizzle Nizzle Trizzle, Snoop Dogg. What's good, Snoop? What it do? What's happening with you? Happy 420, baby. Well, I guess it's 420 somewhere. Snoop, you recently came out of the closet. I want to be the first to tell you congratulations on that. That's definitely a huge step forward. I know you're hosting an elephant line party for the occasion. What does it mean to come out of the closet for you and to host this elephant line party? Well, for me, it's the day that a lot of people could come out. People that's really been in the closet. A lot of people that really can't do it as much as me or can't really do it and, and really feel good about it. This is the day that we, you could do it. No one's going to say nothing about you. Everyone's going to celebrate you. And everybody going to be high. So you're going to be you're going to feel and fit right in. Wow, that's amazing. And you recently released a book about growing up a closet homosexual in the hood, correct? Yes, sir. What's the name of it? Bounce Rock Skate. Here we have it up now. It's a great book. You can purchase it today at any bookstore near you. Now, in this book, you mentioned that the term skate had become a secret slang for uh, homies and gangsters to meet up and be able to hook up with each other. Uh, have you always been a skater? I mean, since I was a kid, but you know, I had stopped yeah. for a time, but I'm back on it like I wanted it. And on your OnlyFans, you've been hosting regular skater parties, I hear. Uh, what's that like? And, you know, just to do it, it feels good to, for people to, you know, be able to skate with us virtually and to feel like they're really in a skating ring to really get their groove on, the good music, the good vibes, the good roller skating. Brilliantly inclusive. Now, in the book, you mentioned that you knew you were gay at a young age because you used to fantasize about the mascots on cereal boxes. Who were some of the sexier mascots that you would fantasize about? Oh, that's a great question. The best when I was a kid was probably Cookie Crisp and Honeycomb. And as I got older, I have to say, Captain Crunch with the berries. My God. <laughs> so I guess berries are an acquired taste. Yes, sir. And what does dick taste like? Well, when you high, it tastes like whatever you put it tastes like. It could taste like a soda, some alcohol, some potato chips, a cake. It could taste like whatever you want because you can make your mind, have the mind state to do whatever it needs to be done. And what's the best dick you've ever had? Well, I'm going to tell you about... This man named from the Wheelers, I went to Jamaica and he uh, had me come over his house and he pulled out a carrot. And it was the best smoke I ever had in my life. Took like the top end of it and made it like where you put the, um, the fat part of the carrot and then he shaped the bottom of it. It was amazing. Well, that's a big carrot. I can actually, <laughs> I think I can actually see you blushing right now, just looking back on the experience. <laughs> so you're pretty cute, Snoop. <laughs> well, I hear that you also started a gay youth group in the hood. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we have the Snoop Special Stars. We've been around for three years, and we've been providing uh, after-school programs for them, uh, flag football. We've been having them intermingle and just become, you know, regular and get out of the house and not be so secluded. So that's what we've been doing and making those kids feel love like every other kid. Wow, that's amazing. Snoop, thank you so much for being here, and uh, keep on making the world a better place. Uh, uh -huh. And it's on and on and on.